So we've been su successful with the threats on Forgotten Realms. We're gonna keep going. Oh. Some powerful in commons. <laughs> May choose not to untap the black staff. Another target non token artifact. This one's harsh, because most of the artifacts are tokens. Best charm this like that's pretty good. Or artifact that one's it's So what sorts of artifacts like we can use this on <coughs> on equipments. Seems like a weird build around. If it was artifact, but it's a non token. I think I'll rather go with either Charm the Sleep or the Death Priest. Both are pretty solid. This guy's also cool. You trade with him and then he comes back. Either Charm the Sleep or I'll go with the Priest. Like, the Priest is pretty great. Like, even if he gets Charm the Sleep, he still does the job. If we went in Charm the Sleep, we'd we'll also not be totally desperate because he because we're gonna take green bounty close very well with the death priest but uh yeah pr like very strong blue cards here moon bless cleric's pretty nice fetches us uh, some aura removal auras like uh and now oh auras like um Charm the sleep, I guess, and precipitous drop. So the thing is, I just passed a ton of great blue cards. I could go with the Frost Giant or the Cell Sword. Might seem kind of harsh for me to play the Battle Hammer. Yeah, I'll go with the Giant. Nice. Pretty nice skill tier. There's also Planar Ally, which is pretty freaking great. I'll go with the Guild Thief plus Thief's tools. It's pretty awesome. Another... Is this the pack I open? Kinda wanna go with Bard Gate here, because if I play Guild Thief, turn 2, and I'm on the play and have a Bard Gate, it's a pretty solid opening. I wanna play nothing. Just in case I, I'm scrapping for... No, great, the Thief's tools. Not only does it kinda ramps, but it allows guys like Shortcut, uh, Shortcut Seeker and Guild Thief to be unblockable. I'd rather take the Thief's tools than the Shortcut Seeker right now, because I already have the payoff. I kind of don't like this card. Hmm. What are we gonna do here? I guess Foils of the Hunt the one that's most splashable. Also you hear something on your watch, it's fine. I guess I could splash for one of these. Arcane Investigator or the plus two maze. Well, this guy's okay, but yeah, I'll, I'll take it. If it wasn't in the... No, no, this is a nice pack. We've got the late game guy and another bar the gate. Again, I like bar the gate if we have deal thieves. It's kind of bad when we're on the draw. Yeah, just go with the elemental. Yeah, I'll go with the elemental. Now the shortcut seeker, perfect. Really kind of what I wanted. Whoa, this wheel, this card's great.
tap an untapped legendary creature control, venture to the dungeon. Do I have those? I don't think I do, yeah, I don't have legendaries. So the spec's kinda weak, we've got the giant... This is not bad, like, this isn't bad as well. We can either go for the T-Fung Blade or the Evolving Wilds. I'm actually gonna go for the Evolving Wilds. Like, this guy is pretty good with the Thief's tools, but... I mean, we're gonna get the chance to pick one of these. And I like to have my... I like to have access to all my mana. So here we have Charm the Sleep and uh, the guy from Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Uh, this guy is pretty cool, whenever we attack we pay 2, um, and if we do, uh, target creature can't be blocked. This guy is pretty nice. When he himself deals combat damage, uh, that player loses 1 life, deals a card and we gain 1, and scry 1. Shame that it's on the same pack, has a charm to sleep, but this is definitely a top, top card, I'll take it. This guy is perfect with Thief's tools, we already have 1 Thief's tools, so I, I'm not looking to highly pick a second. Contact the other plane is pretty good, but I really want to pick goes well with Bridal and uh, the tools. Now it's a second Evolving Wild instead of Contact other plane. I really wish this, this Contact wheels. Uh, but I'll take the Evolving Wilds, like this type of mana requires some fixing. Now we have Eccentric Apprentice and Rider. And then again, contact the replay. <laughs> I'll definitely wheel one of these, I I'm sure. So these are all pretty great. Uh, what do I want? The rider's pretty freaking nice. This, it works well with Cridal as well. But I don't want to pick like five drop here. Like when he enters battlefield, we can sure. I kind of want this guy a little bit. More. Oh yeah! And the Charm to Sleep? Maybe I want the Charm to Sleep. <laughs> yeah, I'll take the Charm to Sleep. <laughs> Man, I'm really passing on Rider. Whoa! This was a late evolving while it's perfect. Hmm. Take one of these. I'm not so sure if I'll take two. I probably won't. See, this is why Rider wasn't a high pick. This is a very good card, like the Frost Chain. Perfect. Oh god. The more of these I have, the better. Nice. I really wanted one of these. I don't need two, but I'll be happy with one. I really like this. I could play one. What's this? Gain control target creature as long as you control Mind Flayer. <laughs> oh man. They're not even missing out on much. We're missing out on a wins here. I will really love, but Mind Flayer. Yeah, goddamn, this is great, yeah. I'll be definitely flaying some mines. <laughs> uh Wind Seer, yeah. Now I got a Wind Seer. Uh there's also a Dungeon Seeker. She's pretty cool. Uh but Wind Seer already has evasion. It's a 3-3 flyer. Much. I could go for the secret door or the dungeon map. Either one. I'll go for the secret door. I have a lot of action on my three drops. So another shortcut seeker or uh, wind seer. Definitely the wind seer. I could splash for Gretchen. Have enough. Fixing, I guess. But... Oh boy, Charm the Sleep and the Blue Dragon. I actually go for a Charm. On the type of deck I have, Charm the Sleep's kind of more valuable. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Can't be blocked. This might work. We'll see, it's going on the sideboard for now. Uh, they have good 5 drops, I have good 4 drops, so I'm not playing any of these cards. I might play this, you never know. Oh man, this guy's kinda nice. But I'm not really... Oh, I'm rolling! 
Yeah, I'm rolling with three cards. Maybe four. Maybe I can splash for this. Oh, but there's like eyes of the beholder. Removal is removed. It's cost six, costly, but it's not a bad card. Okay. I'm not so sure I want this, but we'll see. I've got some cuts to make. I like my deck. Seems like a nice control in the mirror. I've got some aggressive stuff we can do. I want to, I, I want to cut one of these. Probably these. We should cut something on the four drop or the five. Maybe we cut the dungeon map. If I play dungeon map on three and like frost chant or mind flare on four, that's pretty nice. Do I cut bar the gate? Maybe I do, because you're gonna be... I like my bar the gate and guilt. If I had one more guilt, if, I think I'll go with the bar the gate. Oh man, <laughs> can't wait to play this deck. I'm gonna play... 6, probably 5. Yeah, 5, five swamps, fine. I'm gonna choose the art. It's gonna be 5, 7. Because yeah, I have 3 evolving wilds, so I'll probably be fetching swamps with them. Because I can't go to battle without blue. I can go to battle without black, probably. But I got a lot of double black cards. Most of them are double black, actually. I'm gonna pick some nice ones. Look at this. Now let's pick the swamps. Are pretty oh man, this guy is like. Is it Jace? <laughs> Swimming in the swamp? Not a good place to swim, I don't recommend it. Korea swamps are kinda nice. I like the drains. Maybe like, maybe like this. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like this. Let's go. Hopefully I don't get screwed on blue. I'm drinking my my tea. If you don't drink tea, start drinking now. It's good for you. <laughs> Instead of like uh, eating cookies, just drink some tea. Sometimes I like to put honey. It's pretty nice. Pretty this. Spaceman Spiff. It's the name of our opponent, so he's gonna have some out of this world place we'll see He's taking his sweet time. Can I poke the bear? <laughs> saying that. My dog responds. Quite cute. Look at this. <laughs> like I'm scratching him. <laughs> Does the bear do something? Bear's just stupid. Yeah, just stupid there. Looks like my opponent is on the toilet. Ah. 
Yeah. We might get like a buy and just win the first one. He is taking a long ass time. Oh, there we go. I'll keep this. Got Cridle. Evolving Wilds. It's gonna be a turn one Evolving Wilds, but should I go for blue or black? That's a legit concern. Because I don't want the turn three Evolving Wilds. I probably want the turn one blue, then a Swamp with Cridle, then Charm to Sleep, and BANG! You, you mill one card. <laughs> I take two damage. Uh, my dog's acting out. He's coming with me. <laughs> he got really like defensive. He thought I was gonna <laughs> yell at him. See, first win and I didn't even do anything. My opponent was just like, oh man, I'm up against slow because I'm not even like gonna bother. What's up, Zug? was barking like a mad dog this is a real spoiled dog like he's really really spoiled um this is another keep not not a, a good like not as good as the other hand this one's slightly worse Hopefully they're into some cool stuff to give the tools needed. We'll see. The thing I like about the Thief's tools is that if it does nothing, at least it ramps. Sometimes it fixes as well. Because here we, we can have a turn for giant now. I can tap with every place. In the world. Oh, yeah, this. Could have used the. Oh, he's gonna kill my. Bridal? If he attacks, I block. I don't even care if he wastes. Uh... Oh no, he's trying to destroy my. If you destroy the treasure. So does he want to sack the Plundering Barbarian to trade? Do I care? I'll take it. I was kinda hoping to get uh, a Swamp and play Death Priest. That didn't happen, so I'm gonna go just for the giant. Hopefully, I'll draw a swamp. Even if I don't, my hand's not that bad. He's a pretty crazy card. Not gonna be able to beat it as fast. Cradle doesn't draw cards. Otherwise, Charm, Sleep, and Attacking could have been viable, but even then, it was quite close. You can just stack. So. Yeah. I'm going to attack with Cradle. Nah, I'll 
where they have land. Not 2 1. What will I do with, with a 2 1? gonna kill him because he should it's gonna get big yeah. it's just kind of ridiculous but he doesn't have like pressure on the board so it's fine oh this on the other hand this is This is quite bad news. So what bad news? I'm gonna do this. Tap that guy. At least I can return now. Oh no. Oh no. I've lost, like I have no way of winning now. Yeah. Plus I mana screwed. Mana screwed and up against the skeletal swarming and elf code elemental. No way I win this. He has double my mana. It is done. God damn it! Ed? Kind of a nice start, and then I just bricked. My opponent threw like skeletal swarming, so that helped. <clears throat> Not a good start. 1 1, but the first win was kind of. It was a freebie. Free win. What's happening? I'll keep this, I guess. I mean, this hand's not bad. I shouldn't be complaining. Like, this hand's nice. I know I don't have, like... That's why I'm playing less swamps than island. Yeah, that would be real sick. Yes. Give it to me, I need it. Uh, should I scry it? I'm gonna go this way. Cause I'm not gonna get the... Maybe I should go to me. I'll go to me. I'm having a very impressive stuff. Oh, if he attacks here, I'm not so sure if this is the right way to go. I really am not. He's gonna give me a free attack, and I got, I'm gonna win one life. Yes! <laughs> Oh, 
If I lose this one, I'm gonna be so lucky. So I have great cards in play, cool cards in hand, I'm getting my storm. I actually need one more, but... <clears throat> I think he has something instant speed, right? If he attacks, I, I don't think I even block. If he has a fireball, it's go not gonna work on the giant. For real, that's what you want to do? He probably has something to sacrifice my rival. So if I block... So I think he has the one that he pays 2. Um, pays 2 sacrifices. If I do this... Like, if he's playing this, he probably has it. But if he doesn't, yeah, I'll take it. That's fine, I, I don't need the map. He's probably gonna sacrifice him now. Tap that guy. Go for lethal. He's forced to block. Something's gonna die and I create a 2 2 zombie. Skeleton. Oh, skeleton. It's a skeleton. Play another creature here. Very inspiring. You wanna block my skeleton? I'm actually gonna play the winds here, dude. He's got evasion, heals lethal, I spry. Also, if he has a board wipe, I think I'd rather have a frost shine. Well. He almost... He almost killed himself. Oh. What?! He didn't want, like... Chose to lose. I forfeit. Kill me now. I surrender. To the Lord Locust. Keep going, two wins, one loss. We've got the Zugo! Zugo! Today's here. Keeping us company. Giving us luck. Look at this hand. we got the, mo the guys that really want to be unblo unblockable, and we've got the Cridal. But I think if he doesn't play a creature here, I'm gonna go with Guild Keep instead, yeah. I might actually go kill Thief, Soul Knife, and then the Cridal turn 4, because then I can use the O oh, perfect. Yeah. Exactly what I'm gonna do. Ray of Enfeeblement? Oh, that's also fine. It's actually good. But Cridal then can give one of these guys unblockable. I'd rather have the Soul Knife spy unblockable. Well, now I rather don't. <laughs> Actually, because uh, he can't block it. Oh, 
man. The value. <laughs> Green bounty. <laughs> Thank you. I'm drawing fire. I can't even kill this. I just watched this play. I can't kill it. And then give unblockable to the guilty. Yeah, that seems fine. Actually, should have kept this guy back. No need for him to attack. Oh no! Is he gonna take? It's actually a hard one. Because this enables the other two, so maybe Cridle's the best pick. But Guild Thief can attack alone. Yeah, that way I don't throw cards. Probably has a removal spell for Guild Thief, I believe. Yeah, there we go. But not have short bit seeker. It's also great when he gets in, when he's unblockable. So yeah, Cridal really enables third stuff. Um, do I want this or do I want him to lose life? No, I can spread. Spread can help a lot. Maybe start attacking now. Yeah. If he has the trick, it's gonna be bad for me, but I'll take it. He says ward. Oh, nice. Is it nice when I need this? Because I can like tap this, but it still does the effect. I think I'm gonna do is just like take the rest. Give him unblockable. And then if I can attack with Cradle, I win. Next turn. Or just with the secret, you could any one of them could. I'll play the map. Okay. Oh, so, so he's checking. I'm gonna thin out my deck. I'll take the little plane. Plus two. Is it what he wanted? Yeah. He was in a tough spot. Cridal is the MVP. That card really enables some net nasty stuff. I like it. <laughs> Cause there's a lot of payoffs when your creatures don't get blocked. Shortcut seeker? Uh the Soul Knife Spy, Guild Thief, 
All of them great cards when they're not blocked. Uh, this hand's very underwhelming. I'm gonna keep it just because I'm I'm a coward. I don't want to mulligan. But this is very slow. If he plays a good 2 drop here, it might be bad. It's a good 2 drop, but it's not gonna make a ton of damage. Oh, we've got a good 2, two drop as well. Over. That thing got that. Like, we need to do something about that. that that's really huge, and it's like you never the other guy. Next time I think I just go dungeon map. Oh, I see what you're doing. Beating treasure. I'm gonna go. No. Could have went just like. Shortcut seeker, but I, I like this this tiny bit better. It's gonna start making treasures, and sacking the treasures, making guys big. Okay. No such things. Because now, if he doesn't have another creature here, I can attack with both, give unblockable to... I don't even give unblockable to any of them. Like, if he doesn't play a creature and attacks me, I'll give an... I don't even need to give unblockable because it's a bad trade. Oh! Uh... Yeah, about that. Uh... I might have lost the game right here. Oh. Maybe not, we'll see. Guess we'll see. I desperately need a land. I die in three turns. Shit's nasty. In the ogre, of course. 5-5? Five, five. Oh no. Oh man. Please oh, scry. Give me a good scry. I'll take the last. I need to block here. Man, he still has creatures? Fuck you, dude. It's gonna get first strike. Oh. Getting a little bit cocky. gonna lose just because he's unblockable. There's really like no real 
way for me to stop this. Do I have more removal? Like, even if I have, it's gonna kill me with the other stuff. I can win life, I guess. It's gonna venture into the dungeon. Yeah, this is GG, because uh, one of his guys is gonna die. So he's gonna venture to the dungeon and just give me. Oh, yeah, or he just does. That. I could have gained one life, but. He just attacks me with a, with 3 power unblockable. And the other guys, and one of his guys dies. And then I, he ventures and deals me one damage. With the last. with the third dungeon. Oh man. This is 3-2? Yeah, 3 wins, 2 losses, oh boy. Gonna be nail biting. We need to get to 5 wins. You know I am. I need those 5 wins, goddammit. Otherwise it's a disappointment. And all the angels in the heaven will cry. That's what happens. us all. I'm gonna keep this but I don't like it. Ah, I don't like this one bit. I really hope I don't do my third land, otherwise I'll be in trouble. Oh, that will have been a cool draw. Oh no, of course he has a... Give me an island. Please. I'll trade here. Yeah, he doesn't want to trade, so. Let's see if he wants to kill my investigator. Yeah, that's fine. You wanna pump your dude to kill mine? That would have also been acceptable. Like, having a soul spy, a soul knife spy deal on an empty board is very valuable, because I can charm sleep the next, next guy. And draw a card. Oh, nothing! That's even better. This is an instant, right? Yeah. Perfect. Oh man. If this passes, I win. Yeah, it's not gonna let it slide. Oh well, it's disappointing, but that's how it goes. If it passes with all his mana up, might be a barred gate. Uh, yeah, I can have the eyes of the beholder. Oh man, no land. Quite the one I want. But this is very dangerous. Not damage wise, of course, but if he starts venturing, I'll be in trouble. That's why I wanted to keep eyes of the beholder. If I can resolve my dudes, I think I'm not in that bad of a shape. Got some nice cards in my hand. I can tap shortcut seeker and attack. We just tap the gene and he has no attacks. What I think I wanna do probably just play him with time. Because I'm legit afraid of bar the gate and if I have two giants in play. Oh. My board's not that bad. He's probably gonna play some more ugly stuff. 
that flies over my giants. Although they are pretty big, but they don't have reach. Giants can't reach, my friend. Gonna bar the gate. No. Okay, so I'll return the shortcut seeker. Attack with both my giants. There we go. <coughs> Some good chunk of damage. Trying to do something to my dude. Well, that's not that bad. <coughs> he gets to do the whirlwind again. I'm gonna return shortcut city again. Or maybe kill Tiff. Yeah. I'll return the kill Tiff. Nah, no, actually, returning the shortcut city. Might lose him. To attack with only one. I'm gonna tap the short the guilty. <coughs> well if I had gambled maybe I could have won, but I didn't gamble. There's probably a trick here. More than one, actually. Plus one, plus one, twice? Okay. He might die. Next turn. Dust, but now he's dead. Yeah. That's fine by me, like he did a cool play and then lost. <laughs> I should have blocked the other dude. The one that gets pumped. That was a mistake. So, 4 wins, let's go. My opponent screwed up, like, math is for blockers. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> What's going on with my green screen, man? Make the stream great again. One more, man, one more. One more and I can be happy if I lose. But if I lose now, I'll feel like I just got full balls. Nagi. Tesseract opponent. I'll keep this. We've got Thief's Duels and Shortcut Seeker. This might be spicy, like turn 3 Shortcut Seeker. Yeah, he's playing something. Watch out, watch out, watch out! It's a morning, morning star. Oh, equip. Oh, you equip. Not that it makes a whole lot of difference, but my plan is just to do this. If he has no good blocks, I just attack, I don't even equip. Three plus one, yeah, that's fine. I 
I cut your bluff, boy. He's missing land drops. Do I want this? Probably not. Probably yes. Actually. Yeah, I'll take it. Next turn, I just think about playing the wings here. But I don't mind playing like a land in wings here. I have no turn one place. We're trading some damage, but I'm gonna be winning it. Oh yeah, bad luck dude, you kept the risky hand just because you had the go morning star. You're like, yeah, I got some combat tricks, he's gonna block. I'm not gonna block. But I will create the 1 1 goblin. Oh boy. That's very rough. I can probably kill my wins here. But I deal some damage to him. And that's why he kept the risky hand. Because he's got some cheap removal. Yeah. I was counting on that, but I'm still gonna spry. Um so yeah, now I don't really need to fly. Let's make a one one. One one golem is gonna be the MVP. Because you can battle with the a goblin with a morning star. This is just, this is the only thing keeping him in the game right now. And he's doing a fine job at it, actually. Oh, no attacks. No attacks, nice. Yeah, that's that's really nice. Like, you don't want to take some damage, so you're gonna block. Or are you gonna pump him? No blocks? Oh, that's... Um, yeah, I guess I'll put the plus one, plus one counter. My goblin! I like that. Play the giant, frost giant. <laughs> I actually should have put the 1 1 on the shortcut somewhere, because he's playing red and green, so it's gonna be hard for him to kill my dude. A lot of toughness. So plus one on here will team out the flame. Oh no, guilty! It's gonna, it's gonna be gone. My teeth aren't gonna steal anything. Yeah, I'll just attack. I, I don't care. This was actually a very nice card. <laughs> Plundering Barbarian actually kills the secret door. He destroys the door completely. But not while well he's in play. Only when he's entering. When he enters the battlefield, he smashes the door. <laughs> That's a great entrance. Just smashing the door. Coming into the battlefield like ah! Shining style. Where's Johnny? Uh oh. This plus Morningstar actually gets through the door again. Yeah, that's fine. Let's contact other planes. Got two. Oh, nice. Those were. Uh, do I win? No, I don't have double two. I still wouldn't win. Makes sense for dungeon secret to attack. Maybe it does if it. Nah, it doesn't. 
I'll just play good cards. Because he, he's completely screwed. He's gone. Next turn, like, if he did, doesn't deal with Rival, I win. And I have a lot of removal. My hand's all removal. <laughs> so, yeah. He's done. This is GG. Do you guys see like the risk in keep it, keeping this kind of hands? And I bet you that he's not playing 17 lands. He's probably playing 16. Judging by what he played so far, he might want to be aggressive. And maybe it was too greedy. I don't know. Are you losing? Uh, I'm gonna be winning this one and I'm gonna be 5 2. So, 5 2 is a good draft, I think. So, I'll say not. I'm not losing. But if I lose one more, I'm out of the draft. Ah, uh, too bad. <laughs> it is too bad, isn't it? But he can't attack, otherwise, he loses. Even if he doesn't attack. Look back, bad. Uh, yeah, he still loses. Five wins, two losses. Let's see if we can get seven. The deck's not bad. We've got some cool synergies going on. We've got removal. Uh, so yeah, we might get there. We've got lucky as well. Like one free win, and then our opponent got screwed. Right, so we, when we got cried, all opening hand, soul knife spy on turn three. That's fine. Only thing we're missing is being on the play. Our opponent playing first, definitely detrimental to our deck. So what I'm gonna do is actually play this guy. Because I wanna trade. And if he pumps him to kill the Arcane Investigator, I'm fine with that as well. Okay. That's cool. Um, attack because he doesn't want to trade obviously so he's gonna take two otherwise it's very questionable why he didn't attack hmm, but he's thinking about it but it's there to think of, like he wasn't willing to trade it on the offensive. Why trade it on the defense? Does he think I have a trick? Because it's way riskier now. Ogre. We're gonna tap the ogre. Hopefully he attacks us here. Yes! Matter if the creature is his or mine. 
Oh my sp what? That's bad. This is nine damage. I'll take it. Is he serious? I don't think that was a good attack at all. Oh man, nice! Freaking nice! Do I do this? I think I do. I can actually die right now. If he had like a Dragon's Breath and then a Bump spell, I could have died. So that was risky. What do you want? So the payoff was nice. Risk reward, 6 wins, 2 losses. Last game, last round, let's go. Do we win it all? Or do we get blue balls? 6 or 7 wins. Let's do it. We are recording this one, it's going on YouTube. It just passed in 1 hour. So, it's not going that slow. I'm gonna put Cridle on the thumbnail. Probably. I won't remember, but I'll probably put Cridle. This is a very risky hand. The thing is, if we are playing against a fast deck, we might lose. If we are playing against a, a, a slow deck, we'll win. He has the fairy, so he's probably playing a slow deck. Oh no! This was a misplay. I should have played Volving Wells for Swamp. Uh oh. I really want to tap this. On all meanings of the word. <laughs> if he attacks, I just block. I'll be like, yeah, what up? Do you want to use your combat trick? Because I don't mind. I really don't. Like, And this is a very good one. It's a very good combat trick to let him waste on my dude. I, I actually really need to do this. Because I have nothing else. <laughs> I really need to get the board under control until I draw something nice. He skills most of my creatures. Oh, I'm not killing this one. It hurt me not uh, playing the Golden Wilds turn 1. Because now I might want to Green Bounty on the end of his turn and I'm not gonna be able to. Yeah. I'm gonna give flying to the innkeeper. Hopefully he doesn't have a way to remove Charm to sleep. That land means giant. Arborea Pegasus. That's a big ass Pegasus. Oh, Owl Bear. In it. The owl there. My giant blocks the owl. Just a real card. I messed up again. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. If he attacks with owl there, we're gonna have to take it. Because we have a way to deal with pump spells, we just kill him instantly. If he attacks, he probably has brute, brute strength, plus 2, plus 2 and trample. 
No, he doesn't have it. Nice. Hmm. Secret lore is kind of cool. Unfortunately, we can only venture as a sorcery. I'll pick another one. Should we venture? I mean, not venturing is really telling. But it can be any number of things. It could be venture into the. Could be bar the gate or removal. He must think it's removal. It's the most common thing. Destroying my enchantments. Now this is a problem again. is a sorcery and not uh, an instant speed spell ever, as I thought. <laughs> so that was a big mistake on my part. It's the second time that I think that this help If it's a land, we'll put it on the bottom. Dungeon man. I can already venture, just a tiny bit costly, but I could venture twice? Maybe. You are the Mr. Mistake of Shida. Oh no. What? Oh yeah, because this has got more. A more than bitch. Oh cool. Um. Maybe not so cool. Let's see what he does. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I know what I'm blocking. No, now I don't know what I'm blocking. Probably nothing. Okay, so he didn't pump. So, which is weird. Return the Voted Paladin or all of <laughs> No. I'm gonna return the Dire Wolf. Gains one life. Do I care? I should return nothing. That's late. Can keep one life. It's actually pretty strong. God damn it. Or Orc Knight. Hey, what's up, Johnny? So you just come into the stream saying I'm the mistake master. Oh no. I'm gonna have to chump lock something. What do I chump lock with? Probably with Secret Door. Although Secret Door is gonna. Kinda wanna block with the Yerkel Telemantle. If, if I draw a land, I'll rather venture into the dungeon. Or if I draw just a ship thing. Oh no. He has tons of action, doesn't he? Yeah. God. Now I wish I didn't block with the arrow. Oh, I'm gonna block this. I lost. Birds of losing? Actually, yeah. I actually am.
I go down to 2 health if he attacks me with everything. And then one attack for the Pegasus I'm dead. He should attack with everything. Because I, I, I have no cards in hand. And then next attack he kills me. He should attack with everything actually. Everything. Yeah, even the innkeeper. Innkeeper should be attacking, because this is going to give me one extra turn. Or maybe not. Probably not. gonna say man it's something that costs like one almost freaking devoted to druid man that's a nice card so yeah this is over um Yeah. Read like this, I still die. There's no way of winning. Well, this is it, boys. Just kept drawing car good cars. I kept drawing lands, but he really got me with that paladin. Nice stuff. Nice stuff. And the worst part wasn't that, it was that he actually had a way to destroy my charm the sleeps. <laughs> Two of my enchantments were gone. <laughs> uh, that, that sucked. <laughs> so 6 wins, not bad. So it's, it's a success, I'll say. Okay. Cool. So yeah, this was the... Cradle Draft, The Mirror, Dungeons and Dragons, Adventures in the Forgotten Realm Draft. No one's watching in YouTube at this point, literally no one. No one watches my videos till the end, out of all the three or four guys that watch them. <laughs> so boys, this was the draft, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it.